I'm Brian Bolter, a former Emmy Award winning television anchor and reporter. I traded news for booze. I'm now owner and beverage director of Dry 85, and one of the top 75 bourbon bars in America. And Red Red Wine Bar, honored as the best wine and beverage program in the state of Maryland. My storytelling journey continues by connecting you to the beverage in your glass. This is Bottle Brew. St. Michael's, Maryland, where water meets land, peace meets quiet, and sailing now meets local rum. So we got a nice little fermentation going here. Ben Lyon is a former New York foodie and garage distiller. We want to make sure we get kind of that nice, clean, distinct cane note, a little bit of that molasses characteristic, and there should be a little sweetness there. But in the moments he's not tasting every spirit run, nosing it every 15 minutes, Ben's still kind of amazed Lion Distilling Company is here. I'm a sailor, uh, so I have a long history with rum, both good and bad. And this, uh, this building in this place, in this area, really uh, just ended up being the perfect place in, in a really accidental way. Why rum? You know, that's, I mean, what would you say? That's the number one question we get all the time. Why'd you start with rum? Why'd you start with rum? And we're like, because we like to drink rum. Like, we think rum is delicious. Right. And there was this kind of hole in the market where Ben said, I can make something really different. Yeah. I can make something good. And I think people respond to that. And that they have. With business partner Jamie Winden, the two founded Lion Distilling Company, hanging a shingle out to start at the time, one of the smallest craft distilleries in the country in one of the least likely locales. What strikes you the most when you pull up to Lion Distilling Company is this. We are literally in the middle of a neighborhood. Unlike a lot of counties in the state, St. Michael's wrapped their arms around Ben Lyon and Jamie Winden's idea for a distillery. They have believed in their vision for an economic jolt and more jobs and tourism to this town. And now, more than ever, it appears it's paying off. St. Michael's is, is unique in the sense because it has a very much a, a working history. You know, you have the watermen here. Um, this building that we're in was an old grain mill. Um, so you have a history of people making things and, and you know, some sort of uh, both craft and bigger industries in this place that has now become very residential. And so I think the, the people around here are a little bit friendlier to it and they appreciate what we're doing. We've heard other towns have a concern that distillers are close to churches or schools and there's a few churches two blocks from here and a big elementary school and middle school um, a block from here. We actually sponsor the kindergarten class in St. Michael's. <laughs> so no problem. So, no problem. Um, I think once people realize that it, it is about what you make, but alcohol is not a scary thing. We are two people that started a business and have now hired people to work here in this very community friendly um, business. We're, we're, we're a tiny factory and I think that's a good thing to bring back. Now, instead of two rums, Lion makes five plus corn and rye whiskey too. Two stills have grown to five. One gallon barrels up to 53 gallon barrels. The tasting room fills up quickly now. It's all hands on deck to keep up with demand while also creating tangible products and real jobs in small town America. It's gotta feel a little surreal from where you started to where you are now. Oh yeah, I mean, there's days when we walk in the distillery and I say to Ben, seriously? We had a moment the other day when I said to him, have you seen the time card wall? You have to meet payroll now. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's that whole other aspect, yeah, exactly. But it's, it's just, it is crazy, I don't think, I don't think we ever thought. Yeah, and you sort of start to envision, you know, what the next step is, you know, how, how big are you gonna get? How far are you going to go? And I think the, the interesting thing is we, we never had any clear vision of that and it's sort of, it's sort of, you know, unfolding in an organic way. In this off the beaten path community with a deep appreciation for what it means and what it takes to be handcrafted. Cheers, the line is still. <laughs>